Right now, we are one week out from the very first day of school in Mecklenburg County. Wake Up Charlotte's Chloe Leshner joining us live. So, Chloe, things are going to look a lot different this year. We know that parents and teachers still have a lot of questions, and it makes sense. Good morning, Carolyn. This time next week, students, parents, teachers will have those first day of school jitters as they head into a school year that has a lot of unknowns. Uh, Mecklenburg County students will be staying home. They just have to walk over to the computer for virtual learning. But across county lines, we know that a handful of schools are sending kids back to the classroom. North Carolina heads back to school next Monday. This morning, there's growing concern and questions about the role kids could play in spreading coronavirus. A new American Academy of Pediatrics report finds tens of thousands of kids tested positive in the last two weeks of July. This as teachers and parents grapple with the reality that the new school year is here. There's a lot of concern, there's a lot of anxiety. CMS students will stay home for online learning, but several counties, including Gaston and Union, will be going back under Plan B, despite teachers' protests. It's very obvious that our board is adamant that we're gonna open under Plan B. And even though that is scary, we're professionals, we're educators. We're always going to do um, what we can to help our students. Classrooms will be disinfected regularly, desks spread far apart, kids and teachers required to wear masks. We want it to be safe for the students and their families and our staff. And Atrium Health is partnering with Charlotte Country Day School. They're going to be managing if there's an exposure and test students or teachers if that's necessary. They say that the solutions they come up with will benefit all of the schools in our area. Live in Charlotte, Chloe Leshner, Wake Up Charlotte. All right, Chloe, thanks.